Dude, you suck at this game. <laughs> Whatever, man. Hello everyone and welcome to my latest, my newest, my bluest uh, update video. One I haven't done in a long time, one I've been meaning to do for a long time. And finally here we are in update land, yes. Um, as you can see, in the background is Planet Coaster. I've been spending some of my spare time doing that. Haven't had a lot of that lately, but uh, been trying to get more of it. Oh, look, at, look at all these tubes, this is the half pipe. Um, thing there's a theme with my with my my park as you can see it's quite large um i will we'll get to that here in a minute i want to cover some stuff before i get too distracted um let's just get a nice viewpoint here and i have it paused because i have uh almost 6k people in there and that's just too many and the game's running like crap so i've changed the sandbox and i've it's gonna take a while for them to filter out so i decided you know what fuck it i'll just pause it and then we'll, we'll go through everything so where have i been where have i been guys where have i been uh, if you guys have been following still, if any of you have, wow, uh, congratulations. Give yourself a nice round of applause. That's, uh, I applaud you, sir, or ma'am, for keeping to do that, for keeping on, you know, following me. Even though I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything on Twitter, I haven't done anything on YouTube. I haven't done anything. I have been doing some stuff, actually. We'll get to that. So, where have I been? Well, um, what happened, I guess, should be where I start. So... The reason why I kind of stopped recording is a, a mixture of several things. One of which being that my capture card or my Mac, one of the two or both, uh, just kind of took a dump on me and they wouldn't let me capture any AV audio or stuff like that. So I couldn't make console games anymore. Um, and I have um, my computer I could do stuff on, but it just hasn't been anything that's been really interesting me that much um in that and it has some issues with recording with that as well and i guess i just kind of get burnt out on it and i've been meaning to come back to recording uh for quite some time i definitely want to um it's just a, a matter of time that i don't have and energy i don't have so since i've stopped let's playing on a regular basis i've you know i graduated college and uh i got a i want to say a real job but it's just kind of a it's still just kind of a job but it takes a lot of energy um and such um but other than that i've been going through some other creative pursuits uh for example if you've been paying attention to um if you're a podcast follower and you still follow asos on twitter you will know about uh, his podcast but where I'm warning, uh, we've been sort of collaborating on that. I've, I've, he's been doing most of the work. He just has me go with him to, to uh, do stuff. Like we did a couple panels last year. It was a lot of fun. We went to um, like a local con here, and then we went to Wizard World in Oklahoma City, and they went to one in Tulsa. Uh, uh, if you can't tell, in Oklahoma, um, and we did. It, it was a lot of fun. I didn't think that it was going to be that. We were get to get that much people in there, but we did. We got a few, quite a few people that were interested in choose your own adventure game books. Which, by the way, the podcast is about choose your own adventure books. If you haven't figured it out, and we basically just read one live, and and they get to see the reactions, and they enjoyed it. So, um, it was it was quite the adventure. I actually started writing my own. It's uh, still a work in progress, but uh, that's where part of my creative prowess has been going. Um, on top of that. I got a switch that that took part in my every, every time I'm like you know what I'm gonna go record then like something else happens and then you know you just get super busy with something else most of uh, the excuse for me not recording anything is mostly based on the fact that I just don't have the energy um, I work you know Monday through Fridays uh, a pretty hard labor job in some cases I'm out in the heat like the entire day when it's hot and you know the entire day when it's cold and I just I just feel sad by the end of the day it could be a combination of uh, the heat and my poor diet it's it's just uh, you know probably a combination of the two Here, I'll, I'll switch views there we go I'll switch views to the park um, <laughs> just to keep it interesting we'll, we'll do a little bit of variety I'll, I'll switch the views up 
anyway, so what else has happened? Uh, I have got engaged. I got engaged early this year in 2018, uh, and I'm getting married in December. So that's also taking a lot of my energy. And um, yeah, that's mostly where I've been, uh, work and planning a wedding and getting working to pay for the wedding and all this other stuff is, is really taking up most of my time. Um, whenever I do get some spare time, I've been spending it on this game. As you can see, I've spent quite a bit on it. And there is a theme here, if you haven't figured it out already, um, as to what I was trying to mimic. Uh, but we'll, we'll show that here in a second. Um, so that's where I've been. As far as ASOS is concerned, he has been even busier. He I actually was the best man at his wedding back in June, so he got married. So he found uh, himself a girl uh, named Sam. She's awesome, so if she's watching this. You're awesome. You know, I'm sure she knows this. Um, they got married in June. I got to be there for their wedding. It was one of the coolest experiences ever. I was glad I got to do that for him. I got to be there with him. It was, you know, it was awesome, and I'm really happy, happy for him and happy for them both. And I get to do the same thing in December. Where he's going to be my best man. So overall, this is going to be a good year. You know, I got it. I'm also making car payments now, so all the adulting is on. Uh, he has been super busy in regards to getting married. Uh, he's on. His, he just got back from his honeymoon, I think, recently. Now he's going to be starting a PhD program. So is ASOS coming back? I doubt it. Not as a permanent fixture. Maybe an occasional video here and there. But, um, yeah. Also, on top of that, uh, you know... I think he's just kind of burnt out with it, which is fine. So at some point, you, know, you get to that point where you're like, I don't feel like doing it anymore. I, I've gotten all the enjoyment out of it. I can. I personally feel like I need to come back to it because I use this as a multi-purpose platform as kind of not only to play games that I enjoy. It's just too weird staring at this still. There we go. We'll let it run. Uh, just don't get annoyed by the pop-ups. But... Um, and I just lost track of my thought. Okay, so like I also use this as kind of a journaling platform, if that makes sense. So like it's fun to go back and watch some of my like, Quest 64 um, parts and look at the date and then kind of listen to what I was going through at the time because a lot has changed between then and now, uh, especially if you go back to like my early Minecraft days. I was in a completely different house with a completely different lady, and it was like... It was a completely different situation for me. I was in a completely different place mentally. And it's really crazy to go back and watch those videos and just kind of see where I was to where I am. And that's part of the reason why I try to make these. Another thing that's been keeping me slightly pre pre preoccupied, and I guess I kind of lied to you when I said I wasn't on YouTube, because I actually started another channel uh, called Di Try, <laughs> uh, where I basically I was going to be doing Super Nintendo repros. I was doing some modding for some PS2s. However, I am probably going to put that on hiatus for a while because I'm going to redo it. I did only did like three videos, but I actually made like nine. Um, I'm not going to... Well, actually I only made two videos. No, I made nine videos, but only two came out. The third one actually I just got rid of halfway through. Reason for it, I don't know what I'm doing as part of it, and the other one is I don't think God wants me to. Because everything that can go wrong has gone wrong. Uh, the PS2 modding thing, personally, was akin to torture. I had the worst luck with it. And um, and I just I threw in the towel with that. Um, and the uh, SNES repros, I've done two, personally. And I'm like, I want to do one and show the internet I can do it. And I picked out a game and got all the stuff and I explained it. And then, what do you know... It didn't work for whatever reason, and it pissed me off. So I said, you know what, F screw it. But I want to go back, do it a little bit cleaner, try to get a better camera, because you see, you see my big ugly mug uh, in those videos. So let, let's do a little bit of a pan around here. Ooh, yeah, it's pretty. Sit down in the chaos, and watch people enter and exit. Race world. Yes, that's the theme, people. That's the theme. Oh man, look at look at those frames that are up there. Can you see them? I don't. Yeah. Anyway. So that's what I've been... Here, let me get my uh, <clears throat> stack of notes. No, there's no notes there. I lied. Anyway, so that being said, that's where I've been. Uh, however, I'm noticing that like I definitely do want to try to motivate myself.
to do stuff because I, I made some New Year's resolutions back then. Like, this is what I want to do in the year 2018. And I've already accomplished several of those. And I want to attempt to accomplish more. Some of the big ones was get married, which I'm getting married. And the other one was to get a new car, which I got a new car. So I took care of a couple of them. Another thing I wanted to do is get back into LPing. Uh, maybe not hardcore, but get a little bit in there. So I have news for you in regards to that. Um, I have had, I have planned, since I got a new capture card, I just bought a new VC500 Diamond capture card, and it works, sort of. I haven't tested it with the actual Super Nintendo yet. Um, I want to see if there's uh, much, too much of a delay. If there's too much of a delay, then I don't know what I'm going to do. I might try to run it off the Retron, but it definitely gives me delay. So, yeah. I don't I don't know exactly how to work, but I'm going to get it to work. So there's a few games that I'm going to be playing, people. One of which is a game I've been meaning to play since I freaking started the channel. And it's Earthbound. I want to play that game. I got the uh, Traveler's Eagle Guide to Eagle Land from... Alan for my birthday, or ASOS as you know, and I want to use that bad boy. Okay, I want to I want to take it and use it as my guide to guide me through Ecoland, so that I can get all of the awesome extra bits. And I think it'd be enjoying enjoy joyful. Is that a word? I think everyone would enjoy it because I'm I'm going to be trying to read excerpts and stuff like that while we go through it. So we'll be able to um we'll be able to both thoroughly enjoy what that book has to offer and it looks really cool let's see if you guys can recognize this since you know the theme now what is this track does it look familiar i'll let you here i'll turn over to where it would be on the mini on the mini map on the radar map thing so you can figure out what it is i'm going to zoom in and you guys will realize what it is fairly quickly but before i do that i will explain the other lp that i'm going to be doing this is weird this is going to sound weird but on top of Earthbound, I'm going to be doing an Earthbound hack. Uh, this probably won't start until late September. The hack won't. The first one I want to start by end of August. I'm actually going to be pretty wrapped up in stuff for the next couple weekends. Um, but I might get some spare time in like the second to last weekend or the last weekend of, of August. And um, I'm going to try to do that. But on top of that, I'm going to be doing an Earthbound hack for Halloween as it is a Halloween themed hack and I'm also going to be doing an F-Zero hack kind of in between uh, probably during Earthbound and I also thought about maybe perhaps bringing back Friday Finds because I have bought quite a few SNES hacks that are pretty interesting that some people I don't think have heard of uh, and should definitely check out um, plus the F-Zero hack is short and simple so we'll We'll keep that in mind. Um, I, I'm hoping it's going to be short. It is very difficult, and it probably won't be a smooth ride, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. So, anyways, that being said, let's zoom in, and, and we'll see if you can hear the music and figure out what this is. But you should be able to figure it out. Oh, hell yeah! It's Donut Planes 2 from, uh, from Super Nintendo Mario Kart. It is the best. I worked very hard on this because I didn't know the multi-select tool was a thing. So I individually placed every one of these blocks. And it took forever. Stone Plains 3, my bad. And look, look. There's the little uh, puffer fish that, that blows the balloon out of the air. Or actually, the bottle blows the puffer fish out of the air. But still, it's kind of, you get the idea. Also, Rainbow Road is the thing. This is uh, this is this is pretty neat. This is Rainbow Road from '64, and it looks pretty cool. Yeah, but uh, it it will get cooler, um, and I, I won't spoil anything just yet. I'll I'll show you kind of how cool it is later. Before I do that, I want to explain something kind of about the scheduling for this. Uh, this is tentative. I'm definitely gonna try to do this. This is what I have set for a goal this year: is to at least do three games. Um, one small one and two kind of longer ones. Will I complete the Earthbound hack? I don't know because I'm not entirely certain that it's finished. Some of these hacks aren't finished. And I have a SNES cart of it, so I don't know if it actually is finished. But sure it is. It's made by, the hack I'm going to be playing on Earthbound is made by the one and only uh, Toby Fox. The same guy that made Undertale made this. So, And I've played about five minutes of it. It is hard, but it is very well written. 
uh, as far as the dialogue is concerned in the game. So it'll be really interesting to do that. Uh, I want to get this started, like I said, by end of August, and hopefully have it all done. It'll run if there, depending how long it takes to get Earthbound done, just depending on how many parts it decided for that for a week. Uh, I wanted to kind of finish out right before, right around the holidays. Um, and I might do a few holiday specials if I find I have extra time and I get all the wedding stuff taken care of that I need to get taken care of. If Kyle is proactive, we could probably make this happen now. After that, it probably won't be anything for uh, at least another few months because uh, obviously I'll be getting married. And uh, I want to say I'm going to be going on my honeymoon, but I probably won't go on my honeymoon until next summer. But... Uh, a lot of stuff's going to be happening after that. Uh, I can't, I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but we're also going to have to be planning another move. We'll have to go out and try to find a house and stuff like that. So uh, that's going to take up some of my time. So content isn't in the top of my priority list, but I want to be, uh, if we're lucky and every, and Kyle does everything right, we'll be able to, be able to make a few th more things in November, maybe right before the wedding. If not, it probably won't be till probably late January early February um, maybe maybe not we'll see what happens I don't know I've been wrong before don't hold me to it and after that we might be able to talk about a tentative schedule of some sort now that being said uh, as far as the other little LPs go like am I gonna go back and finish anything I thought about going back and finishing Quest 64 because you know why not if I can get it to work I will and the delay really won't matter even if there is a delay because it's a turn-based strategy game so that won't matter, I hope. Uh, and as far as, like, Jet Force Gemini, I probably won't go back and finish. Um, as far as, like, Sim Societies, if you guys want me to play more of it, I can. I just kind of went blah on it. I wasn't having too great a time. I wasn't remembering it as well as it used to. And I think it was partially because I hadn't recorded anything in a while, so I was a bit out of it. Um, also, someone asked me, it wasn't anybody on here, but someone asked me if I was going to do another stream. One of my local accomplices, eh, or accomplices? Whoa. Uh, acquaintances asked me if I was going to do any more streaming. I don't know. I had, once If the following picks back up and you're interested in having seeing one, I might do one next year. So, yeah. Sorry that it had took so long for me to get this out, update out, outdate up. This outdated update up. But uh, better late than never, as I always say. And um, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, let me know. And I'll try to answer your questions um, as quickly as I can and best way as I can. That being said, that's pretty much all I have to cover. So hopefully I'll have Earthbound uh, start to come out in uh, late August. And uh, the Halloween hack to follow. So that being said, let's let's have a little look-see at the old park. I apologize once again about the lag. There's nothing I could do about it. It is currently going at like 14 or 15 frames a second if you can see it up there. I'm sorry that you can't see it up there. It's just I have to have it or I don't know if it's recording because my computer sucks. First of all, there's the tour bus. Pretty proud of this because it plays the bus music from Birthbound. So I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, then over here, I will go ahead and tell you guys what this is. This is Cylinder Knot from F-Zero X. Down here is, um, this is Firefield from Super Nintendo. Uh, which plays the Firefield music as well. Ignore all the scaffolding from uh, Whiteland, which is up here. This is Whiteland 2, I believe, from F-Zero X. This is just a log ride. This doesn't anything. This is Silence 2 down here. Oh, the lag is real. Also, there's like a weird bug where if you uh, have something selected, it'll think you have it selected, and it'll just start to drag ass. This is Silence 2 from F-Zero X. It's kind of resemblant of it. This is all going to be super mini versions of it. And under here, something I'm personally proud of. This is Sticker Bush Symphony, which also plays Sticker Bush Symphony from Donkey Kong. And it is a cool little roller coaster that goes in and around all these pillars. I haven't done a lot of decorating yet, but... You can kind of get the idea. It's super neat. Oh, I love Planet Coaster so much. I'm really proud of that cave right there. And this is uh, Donut Place 3. This is Baby Park from 
uh, Mario Kart 64 obviously still needs a little bit more decorating as well. Um, or Mario Kart Double Dash, sorry. So, that was pretty neat. I had fun making that. It was real simple, too. There's Rainbow Road. I already went over. And there's one more I want to show you. This is Big Blue from uh, Super Nintendo. I think I made, what is that, three tracks? From no, two F Zero tracks from Super Nintendo. I thought about making a uh, remake of um, Penny Racer's track, but I don't know. Anyway, so that, that's all the tracks I've made so far in Super Raceway land. I have still have room for more. I went ahead and I had it on challenge mode to begin with, but I switched it off uh, because I had like $600,000 and uh, I knew if I knocked down the amount of people I had, I'd never be able to keep up with it, even though it didn't matter. I had unlimited money anyway, basically. And so I just switched to sandbox because there really isn't a point and there's way too many damn people in this friggin' park, so... I'm gonna get that taken care of. So here we are, uh, Rainbow Road, and I want to. We could. We can go ahead and ride it once they get done here, um, which I'm sure it won't be too long. I hope, unless they have to do a victory lap, which is really annoying. So this is this is only. I think it's only two laps, isn't it? It's one lap, and they do a victory lap after the lap. So I'm hoping that these guys are the victory lap doers. So after they're done back here, we'll go ahead and ride this. Now, it is pretty cool looking, right? I mean, it's a pink road. It's pretty sweet, if I do say so myself. Um, also, you can see the crap ton of people attempted to go in it. It's $35 a ride, <laughs> and they are paying it, $32. It was $38, but I knocked it down, and people are like, oh, it's too expensive, I'm leaving. Uh, I don't blame you, sirs or ma'ams, but, uh, you know, I got to make my money, boys. And if you don't set it that high, this queue will be full and there will be people going down the stairs and all the way out and absolutely wrecking your park. I had to make a separate parkway because they're too stupid to walk down this most of the time. I don't understand the pathing. But anyway, it looks pretty cool during the daytime, but when you're at nighttime, that's where it gets cool. <gasps> awesome. It lights up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Super, super proud of this one. Let's go ahead and write it, shall we? And enjoy it with the awesome, uh, probably gonna get my video flagged Mario 64 Rainbow Road music. Come on, let's do this. You paid your $35, come on, get in your car. I used the Back to the Future cars for some reason because they kind of float and I thought it was magical. Like most things, Mario Kart. If you haven't bought Planet Coaster or ever seen Planet Coaster before, welcome to Planet Coaster. It is, uh, if you guys know, one of my first Let's Plays was Theme Park, and uh, there's a reason for that. It's because I like Theme Park, and uh, this game lets you build a theme park, so obviously I'd be super into it. Speaking of, by the way, I got a copy of Theme Park for Super Famicom. I'm so excited about that. Look how magical this is. Don't you feel like you're playing Mario Kart right now, but you're not... But you're not, though. You'll see some interesting details, too, that I copied from the original. Uh, from Mario Kart 64 as well. This, this light thing took me forever to do. And the guy I picked, was number one, I think, just sucks. This, this is the child. I need to drive. There's the star from the middle there. There's the big star that's in the middle of that turnaround. And you can see there, that's the train probably see it better later but I was like oh yeah I remember there's a train in there oh I love this track this thing made this part makes this part really does but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys enjoying it I enjoyed it at 12 13 frames a second because I cannot handle 30 different rides with 5,000 people in it but you know I, I applaud my computer for trying to keep up oh, a little bit of lag there right down to 10 I'm only losing because I have no frames! So laggy. Whatever. I'm used to playing WoW on dial-up. This is nothing. This is nothing. But anyway, so, as we're getting ready to... F oh no. Oh no. As we get to finish the race, getting ready to finish the race, just to reiterate. Uh, thanks everybody for uh, sticking around. For those of you guys stick around. If not, you know, uh, you're not watching, so I don't care. Um, 
if you're still there, don't worry guys, I haven't disappeared. Uh, I'm gonna still be making videos, I'm still gonna be saying a lot, and we'll still be active. You might see, might just be through PlayStation Network stuff, um, and it might be through actual videos, so we'll see. Also, another reason, if you're curious as to why I don't make more videos during, after my wedding, it'd be mostly because uh, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate will be out, so that's going to take some time out of my schedule. Jeez. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyways, there it is, guys. Rainbow Road, and there it is, my update video. I'd like to thank everybody for watching, and uh, hopefully I will see you guys in the near future, just here in a couple weeks. I'm actually going to attempt to record Earthbound here shortly, and hopefully it'll work. Here's hoping. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and I'll see you next time.